Day 92, Judges 8-9 through 9. Gideon captures the kings of Midian. And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou callest us not, when thou wentest to fight with the Midians? And they did chide him with him sharply. And he said unto them, What have I done now in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abiezer? God hath delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeb. And what was I able to do in comparison of you? Then their anger was abated toward him when he had said that. And Gideon came to Jordan and passed over, he and the three hundred men that were with him, faint yet pursuing him. And he said unto the men of Succoth, Give, I pray you, loaves of bread unto the people that follow me, for they be faint, and I am pursuing after Zeba and Zalmana, the kings of Midian. And the princes of Succoth said, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmana now in thine hand, that we should give bread unto thine army? And Gideon said, Therefore, when the Lord hath delivered Zeba and Zalmana into mine hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with briars. And he went up thence to Penuel, and spake unto them likewise. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Succoth had answered him. And he spake also unto the men of Penuel, saying, When I come again in peace, I will break down this tower. Now Zeba and Zalmana were in Karkor, and their hosts with them, about fifteen thousand men, all that were left of all the hosts of the children of the east. For there fell an hundred and twenty thousand men that drew sword. And Gideon went up by the way of them that dwelt in tents on the east of Nobah and Jogbaha, and smote the host, for the host was secure. And when Zeba and Zalmanah fled, he pursued after them, and took the two kings of Midian, Zeba and Zalmana, and discomfited all the host. And the Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from battle before the sun was up, and caught a young man of the men of Succoth, and inquired of him. And he described unto him the princes of Succoth, and the elders thereof, even threescore and seventeen men. And he came upon the men of Succoth, and said, Behold, Zeba and Zalmana, with whom ye did upbraid me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmana now in thine hand, that we should give bread unto thy men that are weary? And he took the elders of the city, and thorns of the wilderness and briars, and with them he taught the men of Succoth. And he beat down the tower of Penuel, and slew the men of the city. Then said he to Zeba and Zalmana, What manner of men were they whom the, ye slew at Tabor? And he, they answered, As thou art, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. And he said, they were my brethren, even the sons of my mother, as the Lord liveth. If ye had saved them alive, I would not slay you. And he said unto Jether his firstborn, Up, and slay them. But the youth drew not his sword, for he feared, because he was yet a youth. Then Zeba and Zalmana said, Rise thou, and fall upon us, for as the man is, so is his strength. And Gideon arose, and slew Zeba and Zalmana, and took away the ornaments that were on their camels' necks. Then the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Rule thou over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son also, for thou hast delivered us from the hand of Midian. And Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you. The Lord shall rule over you. And Gideon said unto them, I would desire a request of you, that ye would give me every man the earrings of his prey, for they had golden earrings, because they were Ishmaelites. And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread a garment, and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold. Beside ornaments and collars and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian, and beside the chains that were about their camels' necks, and Gideon made an ephod thereof, and put it in his city, even in Ophrah. And all Israel went thither, a whoring after it, which thing becomes a snare unto Gideon and to his house. Thus was Midian subdued before the children of Israel, so that they lifted up their heads no more. And the country was in quietness forty years in the days of Gideon. And Jeroboam the son of Joash went and dwelt in his own house. And Gideon had threescore and ten sons of his body begotten, for he had many wives. 
and his concubine that was in Shechem, she also bare him a son, whose name he called Abimelech. And Gideon the son of Joash died in a good old age, and was buried in the sepulcher of Joash his father, in Ophrah of the Abiezrites. And it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again, and went a-whoring after Baalim, and made Baal Berith their god. And the children of Israel remembered not the Lord their God, who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Neither showed thy, they kindness to the house of Jerubiel, namely Gideon, according to all the goodness which he had shown unto Israel. The Reign of Abimelech And Abimelech, the son of Jerubiel, went to Shechem unto his mother's brethren, and communed with them, and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Speak, I pray you, in the ears of all the men of Shechem, whether is better for you, either that all the sons of Jerubbaal, which are threescore and ten persons, reign over you, or that one reign over you. Remember also that I am your bone and your flesh. And his mother's brethren spake of him in the ears of all the men of Shechem all these words, and their hearts inclined to follow Abimelech. For they said, He is our brother. And they gave him threescore and ten pieces of silver out of the house of Baalbereth, wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons which followed him. And he went unto his father's house at Ophrah, and slew his brethren the sons of Jerubbaal, being threescore and ten persons, upon one stone. Notwithstanding yet Jotham, the son, youngest son of Jerubbaal, was left, for he hid himself. And all the men of Shechem gathered together, in all the house of Milo, and went, and made Abimelech king by the plain of the pillar that was in Shechem. And when they told it to Jotham, he went and stood in the top of Mount Gerizim, and lifted up his voice, and cried, and said unto them, Hearken unto me, ye men of Shechem, that God may hearken unto you. The trees went forth on a time to anoint a king over them. And they said unto the olive tree, Reign thou over us. But the olive tree said unto him, Should I leave my fatness, wherewith by me they honor God and man, and go to be promoted over the trees? And the trees said to the fig tree, Come thou, and reign over us. But the fig tree said unto them, Should I forsake my sweetness and my good fruit, and go to be promoted over the trees? And then the trees said unto the vine, Come thou, and reign over us. And the vine said unto them, Should I leave my wine, which cheereth God and man, and go to be promoted over the trees? Then said all the trees unto the bramble, Come now, and reign over us. And the bramble said unto the trees, If in truth ye anoint me king over you, then come and put your trust in my shadow. And if not, let fire come out of the bramble, and devour the cedars of Lebanon. Now, therefore, if ye have done truly and sincerely, in that ye have made Abimelech king, and if ye have dealt well with Jerubbaal in his house, and have done unto him according to the deserving of his hands, for my father fought for you, and adventured his life far, and delivered you out of the hand of Minion, and ye are risen up against my father's house this day, and have slain his sons, threescore and ten persons, upon one stone, and have made Abimelech, the son of his maidservant, king over the men of Shechem, because he is your brother. If ye then have dealt truly and sincerely with Jerubbaal and with his house this day, then rejoice ye in Abimelech, and let him also rejoice in you. But if not, let fire come out from Abimelech and devour the men of Shechem and the house of Milo, and let fire come out of the men of Shechem and from the house of Milo and devour Abimelech. And Jotham ran away and fled and went to Beer and dwelt there for fear of Abimelech, his brother. When Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech, that the cruelty done to the threescore and ten sons of Jerubbaal might come, and their blood be laid upon Abimelech their brother, which slew them. And upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren, and the men of Shechem set liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them. And it was told Abimelech. And Gael, the son of Ebed, came with his brethren, and went over to Shechem. And the men of Shechem put their confidence in him, 
and they went out into the fields and gathered their vineyards and trod the grapes and made merry and went into the house of their God and did eat and drink and cursed Abimelech. And Gal, the son of Abed, said, Who is Abimelech and who is Shechem that we should serve him? Is not he the son of Jeroboam and Zebel his officer? Serve the men of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for why should we serve him? And would to God this people were under my hand? Then would I remove Abimelech. And he said to Abimelech, Increase thine army and come out. And when Zebul, the ruler of the city, heard the words of Gael, the son of Abed, his anger was kindled. And he sent messengers unto Abimelech privily, saying, Behold, Gael, the son of Abed, and his brethren be come to Shechem. And behold, they fortify the city against thee. Now therefore up by night, thou and the people that is with thee, and lie in wait in the field. And it shall be that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, thou shalt rise early and set upon the city. And behold, when he and the people that is with him come out against thee, then mayest thou do them as thou shalt find occasion. And Abimelech rose up, and all the people that were with him by night, and they laid wait against Shechem in four companies. And Gael the son of Abed went out, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And Abimelech rose up, and the people that were with him from lying in wait. And when Gael saw the people, he said to Zebul, Behold, there come people down from the top of the mountains. And Zebul said unto him, Thou seest the shadow of the mountains as if they were men. And Gael spake again and said, See, there come people down by the middle of the land, and another company come along by the plain of Melnamim. And then Zebul said unto him, Where is now thy mouth? Wherewith thou saidst, Who is Abimelech that we should serve him? Is not this, this the people that thou hast despised? Go out, I pray now, and fight with them. And Gael went out before the men of Shechem and fought with Abimelech. And Abimelech chased him, and he fled before him. And many were overthrown and wounded, even unto the entering of the gate. And Abimelech dwelt at Aramah. And Zebul thrust out Gael and his brethren, that they should not dwell in Shechem. And it came to pass on the morrow that the people went out into the field, and they told Abimelech. And he took the people that divided them into three companies, and laid wait in the field, and looked, and behold, the people were come forth out of the city. And he rose up against them and smote them. And Abimelech and the company that was with him rushed forward and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And the two other companies ran upon all the people that were in the fields and slew them. And Abimelech fought against the city all that day. And he took the city and slew the people that was therein and beat down the city and sowed it with salt. And when all the men of the tower of Shechem heard that, they entered into an hold of the house of the god Bareth. And it was told Abimelech that all the men of the tower of Shechem were gathered together. And Abimelech got him up to Mount Zalman he and all the people that were with him. And Abimelech took an axe in his hand and cut down a bough from the trees and took it and laid it on his shoulder and said unto the people that were with him, What ye have seen me do, make haste and do as I have done. And all the people likewise cut down every man his bough and followed Abimelech and put them to the hold and set the hold on fire upon them, so that all the men of the tower of Shechem died also, about a thousand men and women. Then went Abimelech to Thebes, and encamped against Thebes, and took it. But there was a stronger tower within the city, and thither fled all the men and women, and all they of the city, and shut it to them, and gat them up to the top of the tower. And Abimelech came unto the tower, and fought against it, and went hard unto the door of the tower to burn it with fire. And certain wo a certain woman cast a piece of millstone upon Abimelech's head, and all to break his skull. Then he called hastily unto the young man, his armor-bearer, and said unto him, Draw thy sword and slay thee, that men say not of me, a woman slew him. And his young man thrust him through, and he died. And when the men of Israel saw that Abimelech was dead, they departed every man unto his place. Thus God rendered the wickedness of Abimelech, which he did unto his father, in slaying his seventy brethren. And all the evil of the men of Shechem did God render upon their heads. And upon them came the curse of Jotham, the son of Jeroboam. <laughs>